How's it going everyone? In today's video we're checking out 10 newly tweaked as well as features that Apple integrated during these few beta updates for developer beta 5 and the public beta. And the first thing I'd like to go ahead and show you is this new wallpaper that Apple officially released on their website which you can go in and download. I have this link in the description down below but this is a new wallpaper date wallpaper to honor the creativity of the trailblazers from southeastern Asia. And I gotta say, it looks amazing, especially when paired with iOS 26. So I'll have this wallpaper link in the description down below, but this is what Apple recently released. Another thing you may have noticed, as soon as I lock the screen, there's a new like bounce animation. You can see, especially in control center too, whenever you swipe down or switch between different toggles, you can see like this new bounce animation now. So that's new for iOS 26. And then another fine tweaks can be located in the music app as an example, or any app that utilizes this bottom menu right here. As the glass effect is much more precise than ever before. So Apple did fine tweak the liquid glass even more during these latest few updates. The next new feature can be located in the settings app. If we exit out of here and on the main menu, if you scroll down to camera, if you go all the way to the very bottom, we now have a new classic mode switch where if we leave it off and we launch the camera app as an example, and we switch between photo, notice how when we switch to everything else, it does like a little dial effect. Well, if we go in settings and enable this classic mode switching and we go back, it's a smoother transition. Personally, I kind of prefer this, but this lets me to believe that Apple is still experimenting on trying to find the best method that's satisfying for most users. But nonetheless, this is definitely a feature I truly appreciate, giving the consumer the option to enable that or disable that. But only those that know will know about this feature. So you guys who are watching this video will be fully prepared. Now real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you'd like to support the channel, a simple like truly means a lot. Let's resume back to where we last left off. Now, if you're ever watching a video or you're just using your phone and it falls below 20%, this new low power mode animation will now kick in. And then if your phone detects that it's draining power faster than it should, a new adaptive power mode notification will pop up on your screen, allowing your phone to adjust and adapt to allow you to squeeze as much battery life as much as possible under that single existing charge so it could make it through throughout the day much more efficient. This feature was first found on watchOS 26 on beta 3, where if the Apple Watch detects you're losing power than normal, it will strongly start adapting and adjusting background apps to the point where it could optimize its battery charge efficiently so your device can make it throughout the entire day. So that feature is now available on the iPhone side of things as well. And then if you ever have to share something in AirDrop, AirDrop also been modified as now this is the new icon for the AirDrop. It's been updated from the old school one to this newer design one, which kind of has like a liquid glass design. In addition to that, when capturing a screenshot, there's now a moving animation down here on the very bottom for users to at least be aware of, allowing them to get their attention. I'm assuming this is Apple's way of getting users' attention. So you can see that there's now a new highlight ability. I could definitely see people overlooking this and having this new waving animation, I'm sure it definitely does help. A lot of people understand you could just circle certain products or items and you could use tools like Google reverse search or even Apple intelligence to like identify dog breeds, items, brands, and etc. And then if we exit out here and go in control center, if you long haul on the Wi-Fi category and then click on the Wi-Fi tab, it will actually show a lock icon now on the Wi-Fi on the Wi-Fi networks that's secure and non-secure. So a small tweak right there. And then if you use local capture in control center, if we go in wiggle mode and add a control and we type in local capture in our utilities right here, the icon has been updated, but this also re was this new icon, but when you click on it, so if we go and start like a FaceTime call as an example, and we go ahead and join like a custom one, and then if we go and launch local capture, that's red, 
and we are basically like making like a custom capture for like a podcast. So this is what that local capture logo now looks like and this is how you can stop it and end it all from right here. And again, you could long hold to add the ability to include audio only instead of like a video recording. And then this file would just be saved to your folders. Think of this more for like broadcasting. This supports FaceTime calling, Zoom calls, anything that involves a camera and a microphone to be recorded with like a bot. For like a podcast, you have this local capture ability. Works extremely well, especially on the iPad. But there you guys have it. Those are a handful of new changes and new features that Apple tweaked and integrated during these last few betas for the developer beta as well as the public beta. Feel free to comment down below which one of these features was your personal favorite, but now you are up to date on everything new recently for this week. If you wish to watch more, maybe you missed my CarPlay video where I should go through the additional tweaks and changes they made. Spoiler, it was kind of minor, but nonetheless, it still is a very good video to watch if you like to be updated on the new changes and such. So cover that video right over there. Thank you so much for watching.